pancakes. And check out these old school rides that they have here. We may put some quarters in here to see if they're still operational. And as we're waiting on our table, we received a card from a deck of cards. We have the five of spades. What did you see? What did you see there? What is that? A castle. Some eclectic decorations out here. Dragons and unicorns. And... A boat. You see a boat? Yeah. Oh yeah, there is a boat. All right, guys, here is a look at the menu over to the left. They have their breakfast specialties. Here in the middle, they have different omelets. And the ingredients include the meats, onions, tomatoes, cheese, ham, bacon, green peppers, and mushrooms. You can add those on as additional ingredients, or if you get the panhandler, it includes all of those. So 50 cents to add any of those ingredients on to one of the meats and cheese, or... You can add two pancakes for six bucks. And moving on here, here are the side orders of the different meats, drinks. Here's the kids' menu, very inexpensive. Five dollars, or you can add a meat for an additional dollar fifty. Over here we have pancakes and French toast. All you can eat pancakes, ten bucks. Wow. And here are various types of pancakes that they have available chicken and waffles and over here lunch is served from 7 a.m. until close so you can also get lunch items they have catfish country fried steak salads hamburgers grilled cheese Rubens turkey burgers down here are the vegetable plates here is the kids menu for the lunch items and here are the drinks over to the right and by the way breakfast is served all day I love the table here. Just take a look at this. These are old ads for various antiques. I guess back then they weren't antiques, but they are today. But years ago, whenever this was an ad, it was $2.50 for an alarm clock. Down here for a tricycle. There's different variations depending on the wheel size and the age level. But you can see it was between about $4 to about $7.35. Over here is a phonograph. 2250. What else do we have here? Looks like a wagon right up here. $58.25. And I know it's not a major deal for some, but I love that they serve the drinks in these huge, massive cups. All right, Henry, what did you end up getting there? I got chocolate pancakes with. That's butter, chocolate chip pancakes. All right. Hi, right, Gigi, what'd you get, bud? I got a chocolate chip pancake with some bacon and scrambled eggs. All right. And Jennifer, what'd you end up getting? I got the blackberry pancakes with country ham and scrambled eggs. Looks good. All right, Brent, what did you get? I ended up getting the sausage omelet. I added mushrooms, love mushrooms. Comes with home fries, <laughs> toast, and as you'll see over here, there's a wide selection of uh, different types of Smucker's jelly. And over here, again, best pancakes ever. Hope they're the same as they were two years ago. Blueberry pancakes. How's that bacon, Gingery? Very good and crispy. I it like looks it. crispy. I could hear the crunch from over here. Yes. All right, Jennifer, what are you trying out first there? The blackberry pancakes, and I've already tried a little bit of the blackberry compote up front, and it was so good. It tastes fresh. That is really good. The pancakes are really fluffy. And they've got just a very light hit of sweet on there. And then the blackberries and then the butter and the whipped cream all just go together. The country ham is really good too. It's not too salty. And you can tell that it's fresh also. It's um, not real fatty or anything and just very tasty. The eggs were nice and fluffy also. What are you gonna try? So, as you can see by the portion that is now left, I've kind of been munching on these home fries already. So I'll tell you that they're lightly salted. I don't like a whole lot of salt, but just enough to give it a good flavor. But now I'm gonna try my first bite of the omelet here. And again, it has some mushrooms. You can see the cheese. There's some sausage in there. It's a good omelet. 
There's actually a couple of different types of cheese. It's very good. Now, I'm going to dive into the pancakes. All right, making sure. Looks like every bite's going to have some of the blueberries because they put a, a lot of blueberries in here, which is a very good thing. So good. <laughs> they put a hint of vanilla in here. No question about it. There's vanilla in here. And you can see it's just a very slight crispiness to the outside. Just very slightly. But so fluffy on the inside. Still my favorite pancakes here in Gatlin. Here is the final receipt before tax and before tip. Came out to $60.75. And we just put 50 cents in there and it did not work. Let's see if this one works. This one takes a quarter. We're gonna see if this one works. Put the quarter in. And doesn't look like it's doing anything. I think we just lost a quarter. All right, everybody. That was the Little House of Pancakes. Henry, what did you think about the Little House of Pancakes? It was good. And I liked it, um, the pancakes. And it had a big syrup drawer. <laughs> <laughs> and Gentry, what did you think, buddy? The pancakes were outstanding. The bacon was crispy, just right. And I got to say, I would give this place an 100 out of 100. 100 out of 100. And Jennifer? Yes, the service was really great. Everybody's always so sweet here. Um, so thank y'all for your service. And the uh, the pancakes were nice and fluffy. Uh, had a little bit of that hint of vanilla, like Rupert was saying. And I couldn't even eat half of them. <laughs> they were so good, though. The blackberry compote, I definitely recommend getting that on top of there. It's warm and um, just really good, not too sweet or anything. And then the country ham, that was really good. Not too salty, very tender, cooked just perfectly. And the eggs were nice and fluffy as well. And when it comes to the service, I have to underscore what Jennifer said. The service is outstanding. Everybody here was just super kind, super friendly, and very attentive. When it comes to the pancakes, we had to talk about the pancakes because they are just incredible. And to have a bold statement, America's favorite pancakes on their sign, it, it ha they have to be good, first of all. But uh, they actually match up to what the sign says. They are some outstanding, delicious pancakes. There's a couple of popular Frank, uh, pancake restaurants that are in downtown Gatlinburg. I feel that those pancakes don't hold a flame to the pancakes here. Now, with that also being said, though, I feel that the, the Log Cabin Pancake House does have some exceptional omelets. And they have a little edge on the omelets here. But again, it's the Log Cabin Pancake House. If you're looking for pancakes, this is the place to go, guys. Thank you so much for joining us here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And we sure to look forward to seeing you on the next episode of oh, Every Day is Saturday. Woo! I love pancakes. Hey, everybody, and welcome. Today we are here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We're very excited to be joined by our friends Jeremy and Stephanie from Nerds on the Go. We're getting ready to take you guys along with us to Winterfest. Winterfest, woo!